Hello, this is Kevin Mortsfield from Autodesk. I'm a technical sales specialist with the NetFab software. Today, I wanted to show a feature of the NetFab software called Lattice Assistant. Lattice Assistant is an easy way to lightweight a part and put a lattice inside the part. Basically, you're going to hollow a part out, put a lattice inside of it, and then also put perforations in the part to be able to shake out the material. A quick way to lightweight a part to save on material and build time. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and add a part. I'm using uh, NetFab Ultimate Software 2020.0 version. Um, we're going to go ahead and import a CAD file. Uh, we have many different CAD files we can import from ProE files to SolidWorks to NX files and also Steph and I, just, just to name a few. I'm going to go ahead and load the helical gear SolidWorks part file. Open that. We do a check also when we bring in the part quality here we have automatic part repair on so we're good with this part this part will load up i have a visual platform screen on that i can turn off for this demo let's go ahead and look inside this part to see that it's solid we can use our clip planes tool here on the right and use our slider on the x y or z axis put a clip line on the rectangle here and then clip on which side you want to see and you can see it's red here. That means it's solid throughout this part. And we can slide through and look at the part. And we'll come back to this clip plane after we create the lattice to see what we've created. Let's go ahead and go to our modify ribbon here. And we have lattice assistant. Lattice assistant is available through our NetFab premium and ultimate tier of software. So I'm going to go ahead and hit lattice assistant here. And we have a bunch of different lattices that we can pick through here on the right side. This is how you'll go about lightweighting this part. I'm going to go ahead and pick the X lattice. And we have the option to put in the layer thick or the thickness of the shell here. So I'm going to make this at three millimeters. We can also edit the size of the cell here. I can change it to, we can change this to 35, 35 and 40. This is just the size of the lattice that's going to be created. It's going to be a uniform size throughout of the throughout the part. I'm going to go ahead and hit calculate. And right now we'll take this part and it will put the thickness of the shell at three millimeters and put my X lattice inside that hollow part at the 35, and the X 35 and the Y and 40 in the Z height. And then the next step will be to put the perforations in the part so we have the ability to shake out the powder. As you can see here, we have transparency on where you can see the lattice. And at this point, we want to go ahead and put perforations on the part. I could select this and generate plugs, but for this demo, I will leave that off. And we'll just go ahead and add the perforations here. You can use your view cube here to get to the bottom here. We'll pop a few holes in this part. If I selected a generate plug, they would these would become STL files that would go into your parts list to be able to glue back. I'm going to hit calculate. It's going to go ahead and create these perforations on the part. And we'll hit apply to save it. We can also remove the old part in our parts tree or keep it. I will remove it. Now we have the finished part here with the perforations with the lattice inside. We'll go back to our clip planes tool here on the right side. Clip on our rectangle here to look in the inside. And now you can see the lattice that we created here. We can slide through this part. We saved a lot of material. This will take a lot less build time to center this part. So that was a quick overview of the lattice assistant. Thanks again. This is Kevin Mortsfield from Autodesk.